All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we are back with murder on Eridanos. Hello. I can hear you out there. Hello. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacities, please locate the test room through the lobby and to the left. You'll see me through the glass. Okay. Nothing else to loot through here? button let's actually give Pravati that oh. this is two, two, three. okay whatever yeah yeah that's doing Let's give her that as well. And that's okay. She can take that. Versus the assault rifle. Okay, that's 629. 629, okay. Same difference. Surprise inspection. Pardon the blue blazes out of me, but who in the name of the Eternal are you? I'll have you know, I am Dr. Leora Blossom, the head of research and development, and you are standing in my lab, uninvited. Now, perhaps you couldn't tell by the empty lobby and general state of disarray, but this is no time to be playing games. Right. No, you're right. Listen, I'll be direct with you. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following a recent experiment gone awry. Hence why I've barricaded myself in the lab. Uh, there isn't anything you can do to help? Hmm, yes. I suppose I should make myself useful. Let me think. Huh, I know. I can remotely unlock the supply closets in the lower levels of the lab. Perhaps you'll find some useful apparatus or two in them. Okay, thank you. Uh, I didn't see any hostiles on the way, uh, the way here from the door entry, from the entry door. Could you, could you make a run for it? Yeah, you could, couldn't you? And lose my life's work? You want me to just burn my lab and my entire future to the ground over one experiment that's gotten rather out of hand? No. Gorgon was like not. that. We merely need to clean up the mess, so to speak. Reset the lab back to functional parameters. Clean up? They were human beings. Don't you care about them at all? Staff can be replaced, you know. Research data? Now that's invaluable. Yeah, but research can be redone. So, okay, uh, what goes on in these labs, uh, that you turn your research, that turned your researchers against you? Oh no, they're quite unaware of their actions, I'm afraid. Uh, the We're a research parasites. and development branch of Rizzo's, focused primarily on the Spectrum Vodka line. But the specific research that goes on in this facility is utterly confidential. You understand. Ah, damn it. I'll find out when I hunt uh, through your lab, through the labs. 
Call me a skeptic, but no, I don't believe it would be. Loose lips think new product ships, you know? Happily, of course. I will find out when I search through the labs. Excellent. You have my gratitude, and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. These people don't deserve to die, Captain. Let's try using the sedative. The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. Thank you. Okay, that's still sealed. It's not worth it, buddy. What's well, not worth what? A memo. After bar. Okay, bar meet up. So that's just memos. All right, down we go. Wait, where'd they go? For the girls. Oh shit! Usually you two don't need to actually physically be in the elevator with me, but... Utility terminal. Is this it? Nope, that's sealed. Come on. Oh my god. Scared the hell out of me. Oh, there's really no way. I oh. Nope, that doesn't go anywhere. I really just came in here. Oh. Oh dear God. Huh? Where's the utility terminal? Rizzo's could have helped a lot of people with all the bits they poured into this place. So it's through here. Just a little bit further. Oh dear lord. Where the hell do I keep coming out at? That's a lot more Rizzo than I ever want to see in my life. Oh god. Here we go. Alright, dispense the sedative gas. Cold. Yep. It's 
It's funny because if I wasn't able to get through here stealthily, I would have had to just kill them all to get to this. something oh my god no way I can't take it Oh, that sucks. Huh. Door's been sealed shut. Or somebody tried to rip it open. Okay, wh which way were the stairs? Oh, this way, okay. I got real turned around. This is not it. Can't access the terminal either. Just when we were going to get some answers. Son of a bitch. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Confirmation of discrepancy confirmed. This person is most definitely dead. No but shit. But recently, they were still alive. No shit. Heard gunshots early. Okay. Oddly minimal. Hmm. These puncture marks. It looks like she was injected with something. Okay, so... You remember hearing gunshots over the intercom, but you didn't see a bullet casing? Okay. Whoever Dr. Blossom confronted over the intercom, they dispatched her and all four of these scientists without much resistance means they must be well-trained, some kind of sharpshooter or adventurer. What an awful place to die. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. Five kills in... In and out, uh, before we could catch a glimpse of the culprit, I expected more blood. Strange, I heard a gunshot over the intercom, but don't see any casings. Maybe it was an energy weapon. But it sounded like a bullet. That's the thing. I don't, I don't understand. I, I just don't, okay. Maybe it was. Okay, so, is there anything else around here that- oh, the term terminal. Oh! Huh. She did a tour. Don't they- oh. Wait, files. 
error file deleted. Pipeline description. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. Obviously! <laughs> Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Uh, what? Oh. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. Yes, I figured. in here. Timeline discrepancy. Timeline discrepancy detected. Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here mere moments earlier in the timeline. Looks like a standard ventilation shaft to me. Somebody around my size could have crawled in. Wouldn't have been comfortable or, you know, clean. Ventilation shafts usually turn into sprat nests. Alright, and the fuses? Oh, there's a cut wire. Somebody wanted to power it. Okay. See that red wire? Whoever cut that wire was trying to disrupt the circuit. They could have sealed the lab doors temporarily. At least until the failsafes kicked in. Huh. Interesting. Administrator Ludovico. And report back to him now. Attention all personnel. Unscheduled pollinization cycle is about to commence. Please oh God. evacuate the orchards at this time. Oh God. Releasing the wasquitos for pollinization. Cycle is now in progress. Oh no. Do you hear buzzing? Yes, I do, and we gotta get over there right now to turn this shit off. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Come on. God, I hate these swarm enemies because you can't really. Inspect the casing. Uh, okay. What did you find, Cap? There are fuel traces on the multi tool, could be a dock. Likely, uh, whoever released it. Okay. I figured it out the person was Rizzo himself. I hate to say it, but I think. I don't think I'll learn a whole lot about it. okay. Huh. Wonder why someone would leave it here. Also, yeah, it's also likely whoever released the mosquito okay. Slug runs the hotels. And the spaceport. And law knows what else. So that don't exactly narrow it down. No. Check recent activity. Have been illegally accessed by a person. Okay. Whew. 
Well, that's somebody's tried to kill us. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, wait, no. Oh, those are hive crates. That makes a lot more sense. I was so confused. Wait, is she just, is this person just? Incoming! Oh my God, okay. the last one. Anyone else? We okay? Hello, sir. Well, hell sweet. Oh, Hello God. there, valued visitor. I am sure sorry to break it to you, but our orchards are closed to all officially guided tours at this precise moment in time. I don't know what's wrong with him, but let's keep our distance. Why, thank you! Rizzo's encourages all workers to put on a happy face when engaging with valued customers. Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a Puzzle Hedges trademark maze hunt and special edition taste testing for an extra 35 bits a ticket. Ah, you mean that lovely actor who got herself dead? Damn shame what happened to her. She did come by, but not during any official tour time. I thought she'd hired a private tour at first, but it was Dr. Blossom who was showing her the way to the RR and DD labs. Can't imagine why she'd need to meet with our head researcher on the Spectrum product line outside of her lab hours. Unless, of course, it had to do with the new product unveiling. Uh, Helen was the spokeswoman for the Brown ad campaign. That's right, she was. She sure made for some lovely adverts. Maybe it might have involved an issue with the launch batch then? I can't rightly say. All I know is one of our certified tour guides could have given her a much more comprehensive tour of the grounds were that her interest. Seen any murder weapons lying around? A bottle of poison? A smoking laser pistol? Can't say that I have. We use bad batches of liquor for our pesticides. Only the exterminator mechanicals are armed around here. And I haven't seen any bloody objects aside from the usual pair of gardening shears. Unless, that is, Miss Helen was also stung to death by pollinization wasquitoes. She wasn't, was she? That would be a mighty wretched way to go. No, she wasn't. Colonization by killer wasquitoes, indeedy. It's cutting edge Rizzo's technology. But don't you worry, valued visitor. Our pollinization cycles only run when the orchards are empty, for safety reasons. When a pollinization cycle finishes or is aborted, all wasquitoes are biologically programmed to return to the hive, their holding pen. Of course, the very last thing Rizzo's would want is a beloved tourist bumbling into the hive and triggering an unscheduled cycle. So you'd best steer clear of it for safety. You'll know the hive by its big glimmering electric fencing. Right, uh... Of course. What kind of investi- Oh, 
drat. This distresses me, and I do not like feeling cross. I warned the Orchardists this could happen when we halted our monthly bribe to Slug. They were always a reliable go-between, uh, regarding inspections before now. So, what might you be looking to find out, Ms. Inspector? Did he now? Well, that sounds about right. He has been mightily outspoken in his disdain for Slug in recent months. The overseeing orchardist had the last groundskeeper deliver a contract termination in the place of our regular payment. Rizzo's decided we don't need their services anymore. See, with our new morale-boosting medical treatments, our employees are much more productive. No need for unsightly intimidation tactics. Oh dear god. What is the treatment? Sorry, I'm not at liberty to say. Trade secrets and all that. You understand, I'm sure. I do hope this pleasant... No, no, you're freaking me out. I can't stop you from poking around, but do be mindful of our pollinizing. Yeah, yeah, There's I know. a... Oh, God. Wait, I passed him on the way up here? Really? Okay, well, we're gonna talk to him. At one point, we might actually need a, uh, to take a look at our conspiracy board. <laughs> oh, God. I love that I have that. That's lovely. I'm glad they did it. Back into the hotel we go. Rizzo's mock apple cider. A hard cider for a hard life. All right. Maybe, oh, Next that's stop, right, my room. The finest seat in the house. I talked to him for my console, that's right. I wonder if there was a way to just directly fast travel to the suite? I don't know. Confront the intruder, what? Captain, there's someone in your room. I was going to forcibly show him the error of his ways, but I thought you may wish to do the honors. Hello. Oh, sweet gibbering law. Where'd you come from? Sorry, uh, let me just get back in character. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not what it looks like. Who are you and what do you want? Sorry, I must be in the wrong room. Easy, friend. No need to get violent. There are as many reasons to spare my life as there are flavors in Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. I'll give you two reasons. First, I am a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers Toss Ball Enterprise. And secondly, I'm just here doing a job for a VIP. Mascot's honor. What kind of job? I am acting on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie. The Holemeister, the Hack Attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message. Something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. You out of luck, I already found it. It's pretty incriminating. You found the recording? Oh, well, that's just, that's just sweeter than a fistful of purple berry punch. <laughs> oh, law, Birdie's gonna slaughter me like a woolly cow. Will you meet me later, over at the pilot house? 
I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise. Sure. I... what? But I don't... I can't? Please don't hurt me. I'm sorry. I can't. Not here. I'm sorry. The pilot house complex. Meet me there, and I'll tell you everything, I swear. Okay. Well. That was interesting. Everything's so soft and silky and expensive. Oh god. Okay, this board covered a loose collection of photographs and papers. Something's rotten in our dolls. Every step of the uh, of your investigation seemed cl to come closer to the truth. Who could have killed Helsey on Helen? What are their motives? Blackberry Holcomb. Uh, yeah, we're not going through that. Was dating Helen at the time of the death? Could hot-headed hacker got, uh, be a cold-blooded killer? Oh, all the evidence shows up here. Okay. Loses temper. Uh, yeah, I haven't talked to her yet. Oh, examine the seminar. Oh, those are hers. Okay. Difficulty amount. Yeah. Take a step back. Victims. Yeah, we got like two. Okay, under attack by her own technicians. The, the fuck? It's got something to do with these parasites. It really does. I don't know what it could be. I understand there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. Fortunately, you managed to save most of the hive. The wasp ketos are essential to the orchards, you see. Losing them would have cost us months of production. Glad to be of service, perception, and more than a few lives. The orchards can be a dangerous place, but my workers understand the hazards. Something about this incident troubles me. The circumstances are suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Have you discovered anything? <sighs> Reach for a cigarette, the plot thickens, administrator. You have my attention. Uh, Dr. Blossom is dead, murdered by an unknown killer. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist and a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility. Uh, she was in trouble when I found her. The workers had turned violent. Her commitment to her NDA was admirable. I'll make sure to accelerate the payout of her death benefits to her next of kin. All I know is she recognized the killer. Interesting. The Rizzo's family is a small family, Inspector. Most of us recognize one another. Still, any information is good information. It troubles me to believe Leora could have been murdered by one of our own. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. Um insisted that's interesting we'd scheduled a tour of the lab for helen purely a public relations event to be held sometime in the indeterminate future then again helen and i were not well acquainted i can't speak to her intentions uh what were you going to show her during the tour she spent a little time at the orchards i found evidence she was at a picnic a uh, little of consequence. We'd tour the grounds, pause at some locations appropriate for a portrait, let her shake hands with our scientists, public relations. Right. A picnic? I don't recall approving a private social gathering at the orchards. I'll have to make a note of this information. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Was there anything else? 
Uh, someone stole data from one of your terminals. Uh, that's troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. Uh, you can't steal that much data without an expensive cartridge. Our thief had resources. A clever deduction, Inspector. That gives us a little information to work with. Uh, this happened just before the Waspio attack. Someone was trying to stop me. Yes, I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed games. Did you discover anything else? Uh, no, not yet. This incident at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. Oh, yeah. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. Okay, uh... Why was there a suspicious-looking mascot in your room? I'm afraid I don't understand. Is this the lead-up to a joke? No, not at all. Uh... <laughs> Is there something in my tone that suggests I'm joking? I don't know why there was a mascot in your room. The Grand Colonial doesn't offer that kind of room service. I think. Uh, he had some pre pretty interesting things to say about Black Hole Birdie. Uh, such as? That he's secretly illiterate! <laughs> I most certainly did not. My policy toward Eridanos is one of, shall we say, benign negligence. I keep my distance and don't involve myself unless necessary. In any case, let me apologize for this unfortunate business. I'm sure this mascot meant no harm. I'll take your word for it. Was there anything else? Uh, no. All right, we're good. So, we gotta go back down. We got a lot more leads to investigate. Let me, let me, um, let's see the man. We could talk to the coroner or we could investigate. Cause we got, we still have like two other leads. I, I, I guess talking to the coroner might be quick. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not positive on that. Uh, what is the speech stuff under? Okay. Perks, I got one perk point. Down to the, down to the lobby. To the lobby we go. Okay, we speak to the coroner. See what they have to say. And it, it, it looks like it's gonna lead into a whole nother line of quests. So we're, we're gonna deal with that, of course, but. All right, where's the coroner? Upstairs? I haven't seen any stairs, actually. Oh, that's the chef. No. Oh, they opened up the lounge. Ah! There we go. Oh, this is a bathroom. 
A little weird how they just have random showers. All right, Mr. Coroner. Oh, th is this is just another one. Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. Lay it on me. Uh, would you mind washing your hands before you give me anything? Oh, don't be so squeamish. You won't find any viscera under my fingernails. I trimmed them just this morning. Ruth Bellamy was killed by plasma damage to the upper vertebrae, the occipital bone, and the cerebellum. Oh. If it's any consolation, her death was instantaneous and painless. I've also so. discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but not enough to kill her. Spencer Woolrich complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. I assumed he was being, you know, Spencer. But now I'm not so sure. Oh my god, is is is, is the new vod is the new brown toxic making people sick? Uh and they killed her over it? I don't I don't know. Uh, someone is obviously trying to poison her. Uh, you sure it wasn't hotel food? Then I should go speak to Spencer then. Oh, most certainly. Well, possibly they were trying to make her extremely uncomfortable, but I suppose killing her would also satisfy that criterion. <laughs> oh, God. The thought occurred to me. I tested this hypothesis by vacating the contents of my stomach and testing for the presence of the same toxin slightly elevated levels of mercury and an alarming amount of blue food coloring but other than that no i'm certain it wasn't as you put it just the hotel food okay you did <laughs> what oh god she tested her shit oh how curious i do believe you're right i wonder if this has something to do with the autopsy process she was halcy on Helen up until the moment I brought her to the operating table. But as soon as I cut her open, I stopped thinking of her as halcy on Helen. It's almost as if she stopped being an icon and became a human being. Well, yeah, she's dead. Guess that makes sense. That's pretty grisly, Doc. Uh, this conversation got uncomfortable real fast. I had a feeling you'd understand. Alright, um... Concierge, Spencer Woolrich. What do I need to speak to the concierge for? The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? Let's, uh, yeah. I'd love to, Inspector, but I don't really have the authority. Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it. Ugh, the only guess who'd, I, who'd have a problem with me being up there would be a murderer. Hmm, that's a good point. If they give me guff, I can just tell them that they're obstructing justice. That has a nice ring to it. Let me just set you up with VIP guest floor access. Done. You can now come and go as you please. Excellent, thank you. Now let's go talk to Spencer before we do anything else. Yeah. Wait. Wasn't he... Oh, he's up there. What floor would you like to visit? If you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking. I've already got one. This is gonna be fun. Maybe we can ask him what the hell he sent a mascot snooping around my room for. How much you wanna bet that by the time this is over, all the celebrities are gonna end up dead, somehow. Is this just a... Oh, it's like a little lounge area. Okay. Okay, he is a robot. I was right. Hi, 
timeline discrepancy detected. Nearby. That was quick. What? Oh. Discrepancy detected. This bottle, recently discarded, contains residue from foreign substances. Chemical analysis complete. This unit has detected the following substances. Oil, terror ray, blood, terror ray, unidentifiable biological fluids, terror ray. What? Yes, Inspector. Logical analysis indicates these substances were not present in the bottle's original contents. Is it toxic? These substances cause extreme gastrointestinal distress in humans. Large doses can be fatal. This bottle contained Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. The presence of Terrorae biological fluids may have significantly improved its flavor. Oh god. That's, that's just weird. That's so weird. Oh my god. Hello, Spencer. About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Excuse Expect me? Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting embarrassed by proxy. I want to talk like a human. <laughs> you want to talk like a human being? <laughs> I'd give you a stern admonition. But your bluntness suggests that you aren't with the hotel staff. I am not. This is curious indeed. Who are you? And how did you get in here? You're here to investigate me. Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money than time. That was a quote from the retiree's revenge in which I played an ex-thief turned decrepit old man. But, uh, of course, I'm certain you already recognized it. No. Now, what shall I sign first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something uh, a little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. Yeah, not here for that. Uh, <laughs> make a rude gesture. How about this? Uh, you can sign my weapon if... Uh if you want. I'm not here for an autograph, just for some questions. Why are you asking to sign things? Are you okay? I should think so. Signing things has always been a delight. <laughs> I've even perfected the flourish on the end of the W. By the by, how did you get in here? The only non-staff individual cleared to enter guest rooms is supposed to be the inspector for Bellamy's murder. I just oh. told... Oh! oh. <clears throat> Hello. I literally just told you that. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. I told that you it was. that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's Bane, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Uh, why do you ask? I'd like to ask you about the murder. I heard you were poisoned. Who are you exactly? I'm sure you're joking. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no doubt seen the name Spencer Woolrich on many a serial advertisement throughout your travels. 
Uh, no. I think I've seen your name around. Oh, sure, you were, you were that guy in that one serial. Never heard of you. Right, of course. Anyway, other questions? Uh, uh, yes, of course. I heard you were poisoned. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. Uh, can you think of anyone who, uh, other than a chef who would want to harm you? Uh, why did, didn't you go to the stomach, uh, clinic for your stomach pains? Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. That wouldn't actually happen. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Yeah, she didn't die of the poison. None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect that they deserve. Right, that's all. Very well, then. Uh, learn to think, too, about your activities around the hotel. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. That, yes. Yes, I distinctly recall ordering an alcoholic beverage with my meal. This hotel is certainly bringing a new meaning to the phrase rotgut. Management shall receive the complaint to end all complaints. Right. I'm quite used to being breathlessly watched. Not what's happening. Certainly. But one quick question before we begin, if I may. Sure. How was it that Bellamy met her uh, end? She was shot in the head. How, how awful. Whoever did this must have been quite heartless. Uh, what were you up to at the time of the murder? I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Got anybody who can cooperate that? Respectfully, Inspector. It is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. Yeah, but did you let anybody know you were doing it? All actors have their methods, and this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. Hmm. She taught me it for my role in The Unemployed Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement. The director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain, both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. So you got placebo okay. Uh, how long have you worked with the Prophet? Yeah, actually, only since I've been at the Colonial. The unemployed Cometh was shot on sight. That makes it um, a few weeks. I cannot recommend her services enough. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. Okay, back to the other questions. I'll answer whatever you wish. Uh, did you know Helen well? All right, speaking theatrically, how would you have killed the victim? Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep 
on Melissa's meteoroids. Okay. Must not have been flattering, always starring alongside a younger actress. Uh, did you consider her a friend or yourself a friend of hers? I'll ask you this. If you'd been the star of cinema for years, then suddenly found yourself scrounging for bit parts while a younger person stole the limelight, how would you feel? In short, the two of us weren't close. But that's not to say my dislike of her was so extreme that I tried to do anything drastic. Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. Right. Oh, come now, Inspector. What do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. All right. I Other suppose questions? that is enough on that grim subject. Uh, what more questions for the poisoning are there? Oh, must I relive that? Okay, there wasn't. Okay. Very well. Good. Okay. So that's that. Hmm. Oh, going back down. First, let's uh, take a look around. I don't know who that is. His name hasn't come up once. Top rungers are into some weird shit. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Okay. Is it a... Uh... Multiple discrepancies detected. First discrepancy. A woolly cow is present in this hotel room. Woolly yeah. cows are an import species for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve and are incapable of affording upper-class accommodations. Second discrepancy. This woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. Oh god, it's wasted? An accurate observation, Inspector. This woolly cow is suffering from symptoms consistent with a hangover. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Club. Oh dear god. How can you tell? A brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. I see. Minus black hole birdie. I'm assuming. Hello. Oh, that that doesn't do anything. Okay. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. A single footprint, size ten, toss ball cleat sized. The soil in this residue contains a very high concentration of oxygen. Well done, Inspector. The weather monitoring station at the pilot house substitutes for a terraformer. The soil in his footprint likely came from there. Interesting. Somebody just went to town. I don't actually know whose room that is, and I probably should stop investigating these rooms. What floor would you like to visit? Uh, the lobby? To the I guess? lobby we go! Okay, did we go the right way? We did go on to talk to the chef. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thank you so very much for joining me on this adventure. Um, I might have to end early tomorrow. I am not sure. We'll see. But I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all.
tomorrow. Thank you.